Hello everyone, I'm Bonsa Orchid 1, and today I'll be showing you how to successfully pollinate your Phalaenopsis orchid. What you will need is a toothpick and two Phalaenopsis flowers of your choice. And make sure you're not choosing a Dorotaenopsis, which is a smaller flower. Um, so what you want to do is you want to make sure you have two flowers about the same size. You don't want an orchid that's basically like this small to breed with something this, this big here. So, what we have, we have a yellow Phalaenopsis here, and inside here, the stamen, this thing here. Underneath, if you remove the cap, like so, there is a pollen chamber. And if I turn it upside down, you can see them right there, the two little pollen glands. That is what we're going to use for the breeding process. In this video, I'm actually not going to use that flower because I'm, I'm not going to use that pollen since I would basically just be doing a self-pollinating and usually that's unsuccessful. So I went ahead and got some pollen of my choice. Well, let's see if you can see it right there. This one is from a purple flower and I will be breeding it with this one. Let's see if I can get it here. Okay, there we go. Right there. See if I can focus. So anyways, right here, I'm going to go ahead and put this up in here. And if you notice, inside, there's a little tiny gap. I'm going to point to it. Hold on, see if you can see that. There's a little tiny gap right up in here. I'm just going to scrape away at it because there's some little pollen things in there. Some, uh, some juices. And what we want to do is, we want to take our orchid, and we just want to shove the pollen right inside of that, and then pull away, just like that. Now what I do is, I actually push the pollen inside. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and shove it in. And I'm going to push it down so that the orchid knows it's been pollinated. And that's it. That's a simple Phalaenopsis pollination. I hope it was resourceful. Uh, one problem with Phalaenopsis is sometimes they don't take right away. Best thing to do is just to watch it. This little thing in here, the white thing, the st part of the stamen, actually will close up like a little door and it'll close all together. If that happens and you start getting swelling back here, then your pollination was successful. If not, don't get discouraged, just try again with a different flower. And if it and if all of them start not flowering anymore, then just wait till next time and I'm pretty sure you'll get it. Uh, one thing that you want to take caution to is you want to make sure you don't <laughs> pollinate every single flower on the stalk. One or two is okay, but but don't do like four or five on one flower spike. That the flower's not gonna, the plant's not gonna know what to do with that. So that's it. That's my pollination video of the Phalaenopsis orchid. I hope you liked it. Please like and subscribe up above, and leave me any comments down below uh, to see how I can improve on my videos. And and that's. That's it. So, thank you for watching my orchid pollination video of the Phalaenopsis, the Sponsor Orchid 1. Stay tuned for later videos. Thank you.